if you remember, uh, fixed law, it states that uh, material, I mean, as far as the law is concerned, material cannot be made and either destroyed, uh, whether it's, it be a gas or liquid or whatever. So if a finite amount of uh, a substance is going into uh, an organ and then via blood, for example, and then it's, it, exists, it, it exists via uh, the same blood, whatever happens to it within the organ uh, can be measured. We look at about four measurement techniques, this being the first one, and it's really simple. Look, this is uh, the right side of the heart and this is the left side of the heart. So blood, when it's pumped into uh, uh, the right side and the right side then pump, pumps it into the lungs, it then get, becomes oxygenated and it's received in the left side of the heart. If you look, look at the oxygen difference uh, in the blood that is being received uh, by the lungs from the right side of the heart, uh, the oxygen concentration is 160 ml per liter. While the blood, ox after oxygenation, uh, the, blood, the oxygen change is 200 ml per liter. So there you can readily see that there is a difference of 40, 40 ml. And that 40 ml basically is, uh, uh, is picked up by each liter of blood, right? As you can see, it's 160 ml per liter, 200 ml per liter. So the change, the 40 ml extra is being carried by each, uh, if you can uh, imagine a hypothetical unit of blood. Uh, so each liter of blood passing through will carry extra 40 ml of blood, right? So that's one part of the story. The second part of the story is we, we know that in the lungs, the oxygen used uh, per minute is 200 ml per minute, okay? This can be easily used by any device which measures the oxygen uh, entry uh, or oxygen concentration in the inspired air and then subtracting it with, when you expire the air, you're sub subtracting that from the inspired air oxygen concentration and you'll know how much per minute is this chap using in terms of oxygen, right? So that's relatively straightforward. These samples can also be taken from venous blood and from arterial blood. So this is a pretty reliable method of, practical method of uh, arriving at uh, cardiac output. So what happens? We know that this bit needs to go into blood per minute. This is what happens to the blood when it comes in and out, picking up that 40 ml approximately per liter. So how much would it require to pick up 200 if uh, one, hypothetically, one unit of blood carries 40 ml of oxygen per liter? How much, how many quote-unquote units of blood will it, will it require to take up 200 ml? So the answer is basically five units, quote-unquote, five units of that one liter blood need to be provided per minute so that you can pick up your 200 ml per minute oxygen price, okay? And this five liters or 5,000 ml per minute is your cardiac output.